my love story. Chapter 1 My First Days at Oxford The Oxford bus was late. I looked at Dad, and he looked at me. I didn't speak. What could I say? It was good that Jane was there. Phone me when you get to the university, Anna. Dad said. Of course, Dad. Jane smiled and took my dad's arm. Derek, Anna's going to be okay. She's a big girl now. I know, said Dad. But there are lots of not very nice people out there. Foreigners, most of them. Dad! The bus came after about 10 minutes. We all said goodbye and I got on. I sat down and watched Jane and Dad standing there in the cold, smiling at me. I liked Jane. She and Dad were good friends. They met at work. Of course, that was after Mom left us. But I didn't want to think about that. Five minutes later, the bus left, and with it, I left Jane and Dad and my old home behind me. It was hot on the bus, and I took off my new coat. It was a present from Dad for climbing in Wales. We can go climbing again when you're in Oxford, he said. We wanted to go back to Wales next month. I looked out of the bus window and thought about Oxford. I'm going to be a student at Oxford University. I thought, but am I going to like it? My first days at Oxford were exciting. Everything was new. I had a new room to live in. I bought lots of books, and I met lots of new people. There were two girls living with me, Penny and Magda. Penny was from Manchester, and Magda was from Germany. We were soon good friends. At the end of the first week, there was a dance for the new students. Penny, Magda, and I went to it. The music was good, and I danced with some of the boys there but they were all very young. Most of the time, Penny, Magda, and I danced together. It's hot in here, said Penny. Let's go.
go and get a drink? Yes, said Magda. I'm thirsty. Okay, I said. Leave it to me. There were lots of people at the bar, but I pushed to the front. The young man behind the bar was tall with dark hair. He's good looking. I thought. Just then, he looked at me. He had beautiful blue eyes. Then he smiled. What would you like? He asked. He spoke nicely, but he wasn't English. He was a foreigner. Where was he from? Two beers and a coke, please. I said. Two beers and a coke. He said, and he gave me the drinks. That's three pounds forty. He smiled at me. I gave him the money, and I began to take. The drinks back to Penny and Magda. Can I help you with those? Someone asked. One small young girl with three big drinks to carry. It isn't right. I looked up and saw a young man. With a red face, next to me at the bar, he looked drunk. I don't like drunk men. I was angry, but I spoke quietly. I can carry my drinks without your help. Thank you very much. You don't understand," the man said. "A young man must always help a young woman. My father told me once, Sebastian, my boy. He said, 'Okay, Sebastian.' I said, 'I'm not.'" Interested in your father, or in you? Can I get past? I began to walk past him, but he put his hand out to stop me. I pushed his arm away. Coke went all over Sebastian's shirt. You stupid girl! He cried. Look at my beautiful shirt. Sebastian was very angry. He stood in front of me. His right arm went up. Suddenly, I was afraid. He's going to hit me. I thought. Stop that at once," someone said quietly. It was the man behind the bar. Don't hit that young woman. Are you talking to me? Asked Sebastian. His face was redder than before.
Yes, I am. The barman said. And I ask you to be nice to that young woman. Men do not hit women in my country. Your country, and what is your country? I come from Bosnia. The barman said. Oh, so you're an immigrant? Sebastian said. Well, can I tell you something? We don't want lots of immigrants in our country. Thank you. Very much. I say, do the police know you're here, or are you an illegal immigrant? The barman didn't say anything. Do you know? Something," said Sebastian. "I think I'm going to call the police." Just then, a young woman came up to the bar. She took Sebastian's arm. "There you are," she said. Come on, Sebastian. Klaus and Maria are waiting for us. They're over there. I say, Sebastian, what did you do to your shirt? The young woman and Sebastian began to walk away. I tell you, Ginny, I'm going to call the police. That barman. Don't be stupid, Sebby. Come along now. Ginny and Sebastian went back to their friends. I looked at the barman. Thanks for your help. I said. That's all right," he said. "So, was that true?" I asked. "Are you from Bosnia?" "Yes, I am. I come from Sarajevo, and my name is Selim." Chapter two. Salim's story. Salim smiled at me again. Just then, Penny and Magda came to the bar. Have you got the drinks? Penny asked. Yes. Sorry, I said. Someone pushed me, and I lost the coke. Here you are," said Salim, and he gave me a new coke. He quickly put a small paper into my hand too. I put the paper in my bag. And gave the coke to Penny. We sat and finished our drinks. Some time later, Magda looked at her watch. I'd like to go now, she said. I'm tired. So we went. When I got home. I took the paper out of my bag and opened it.
It had a telephone number on it. And next to it, in big letters. Phone me, Selim. Next day, I phoned Selim. I wanted to see him again. I wanted to know more about him. I knew something about Bosnia, but I wanted to know more. Why was he in Britain? Was he an illegal immigrant or not? I was interested in Celine's story. But there was something more. I remembered his blue eyes and his nice smile. When I thought of Selim, I felt excited. We met one afternoon and walked along the river. It was a sunny day. We came to a cafe next to the river. We had some coffee and sat and talked. I asked him about Bosnia. Do your mother and father live in Sarajevo? Selim closed his eyes. My mother and father are dead. He said. They died in the street of Sarajevo. One day, they went to the shops to buy things to eat. There was a bomb in the street, and it killed them. Oh, Selim, I'm sorry. I said. What could I say? I stayed in Bosnia to find work. But there was no work in Sarajevo. And it was dangerous for me there. People wanted to kill me. There was nothing for me in Bosnia. I knew English from school. So I came to Britain. He laughed. <laughs> I gave a friend a lot of money to bring me here. But now, here in Britain, they say, Go back to Bosnia. But it was dangerous for you to be in Bosnia. You said that. Yes, I tell them this, but then they say you are in Britain because you want to work here, not because Bosnia was dangerous. So now I am an illegal immigrant and I am afraid of the police. But how can you find work here? It's not easy to find work, and the work is not good. When there was work in Bosnia, I worked with computers. Here, I work in bars and cafes. I say I am Greek. Greek people can work here, but not Bosnians. So here in Britain, I am Greek. <laughs> Selim laughed again, but 
It wasn't a happy laugh. We drank our coffee and looked at the river. Do you miss Bosnia? I asked. Sometimes, I miss the mountains. In Bosnia, every weekend, I went to the mountains. I love climbing. But that's wonderful, I said. I love climbing, too. My dad and I are climbers. But there are no mountains here. Selim said. Not in Oxford, no, but there are mountains in Wales. That's not very far away. My dad and I are going to climb in Wales next month. Then I thought of something. Selim, listen, I said. There's a climbing wall in the university. It's good for fun. Let's go and climb there next week. So next week, we met at the university climbing wall. Selim looked up at it. This is new to me. He said. We don't have climbing walls in Bosnia. It's easy, I said. Watch me. I climbed one of the easy routes up the wall. Selim watched me, then, he did it. He was good, I could see that. He moved easily, up the wall. When he came down, he smiled. I liked that. He said. You're right, it was fun. But, it was very easy, let's try a different route. So, we tried a different, longer route. This time, we had ropes. I went first. Selim came after me. I'm a good climber. But Selim, was better than me. When we finished, Selim said. That was good. Can we do it again? Perhaps next week? I looked at him and smiled happily. I'd like that. I said. Chapter 3 about my father. To be continued. Oh, ho, ho. Don't forget to subscribe my channel for more interesting stories.